We've seen the pictures and video of plastic floating on the ocean surface, but a new research shows the plastic problem goes much deeper. A study out of the University of Manchester found record levels of microplastics on the seafloor, with up to 1.9 million pieces in just one square meter. And while this particular sample was gathered off the coast of Italy, researchers tell us this is a global problem. In fact, right here in Canada, studies have shown the seafloor is littered with microplastics, particularly near coastal communities. In terms of the British Columbia, we do have research that's being done in the area, but also monitoring studies to learn more about how these uh, pollutants are distributed uh, in sediment, in mussels, and in seawater, and it's called the pollution tracker. It's giving us more information about how plastics are moving around in the ocean. There's been a lot of attention focused on what happens at the surface, but then it's disappearing, but it's not, it's not disappearing, and that's what the study is showing. It's, it's sinking down to the sea floor. The research shows that tiny pieces of plastic end up beneath the waves and are collected in the currents that then push the microplastics down to the seafloor where they accumulate in hot spots. Here, they are confused as nutrients for important bottom dwellers. We also found uh, those microplastics in the resident zooplankton. So not only we find them in seawater, but also in the bottom of the food web. Organisms that are essential, they're, they're form the, the base of the food web, and they're very important for the entire productivity of the ecosystem. Researchers say the next important question to ask is what impacts these microplastics have on the plankton. We have quite a long way to go in terms of really understanding how uh, plastics are consumed and, and, and what happens post-consumption. What are the effects of uh, toxins that are associated with those plastics? And while scientists say it's shocking just how much microplastics they found in one of the deepest places on Earth, there is a bit of a silver lining. Now they have more insight into how plastic moves and where it's coming from. OceanWise is currently working on a two-year project called the Microfiber Partnership, where they're working with government agencies to look at the path of microfibers and where they can interject to prevent them from ending up here in our oceans and eventually here on the ocean floor.